Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is Word Origins 267. The word origin today is snowbird. Okay, somebody wants a screenshot, do it right now. Let's get right to it. All right, we have uh, three meanings today. Here's the first one. A bird mostly seen in a warmer climate that migrated from a cooler climate during the winter time. So this is the original meaning. All right, number two here. A person who travels from a cold climate to a warmer climate in the winter time. The third one means a cocaine user. Okay. Oh, uh, let's continue. The origin of the first meaning started to be used in the 1600s and came about simply by observation. Yeah, people noticed that, you know, maybe they had recognized that bird from the northern climate and they only see it in the warmer climate during the winter and, you know, then they disappear and go back north again when the weather gets warmer. So that was a they call that sort of a bird, a snow bird. Okay. Um, uh, obviously they probably went down south because, you know, snow in the north, or there would be less food. Uh, they'd have more trouble surviving the winter, so they have to just naturally migrate south. Let's continue. Uh, the origin of the second meaning started in the 1800s to refer to men who enlisted in the army to get free food and warm clothing during the winter months, and deserted when the weather got warmer. <laughs> Okay. Uh, later it applied to laborers, especially outdoor laborers who would go down south to work in the winter because there were less jobs uh, and the cold made the outdoor work very unpleasant, you know, in the north or the northeast. And snow would probably have to delay it for days anyway, and they probably wouldn't be able to work as quickly. So it just made more sense. Well, let's just do more jobs down in, you know, Florida or Georgia or some of the warmer state. <clears throat> Uh, now the most common use is for people who have retired and want to escape winter or those taking long vacations from the northern climate to escape the bitter winter or at least part of it. Okay, good. And all right, so we got four examples to show just how it's used. Here's the first one. Bob is retired and owns a house in Florida and New York. He is a real snowbird. Every winter he goes down to live in Florida his Florida home to escape the cold. Yeah, a number of people do this. Number two, uh, Jack is a writer and can do his work anywhere. Uh, he is a real snowbird. He goes down south every winter to escape the cold. Okay, yeah, you say that. I remember when I was younger, I lived in New York, I lived in New York City, and there would sometimes be some, you know, street people, street bums or something, you know, they, they'd scrape enough money together you know, and take a bus down to Florida for the winter. And they just beg down in Florida instead of in New York. So technically, you could say they were snowbirds. All right, let's continue. Um, number three here, the dark-eyed Junko is a famous snowbird. So this is actually one type of bird that is a snowbird. Uh, number four here, some cocaine addicts got the nickname of snowbird because... The white powder form of cocaine looks like snow. Okay. Anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it was clear. I hope it was very informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.